Hello champions. So I'm back with another video. These days, a lot of guys are getting interested towards the field of Merchant Navy. And rightly so, there are a lot of benefits that Merchant Navy provides. But are you really prepared for it? Are you the right guy who should get into Merchant Navy? So in this video, we are going to get into the details of it. So let's get into it. So now, if you have decided to get into Merchant Navy, the first thing that you have asked yourself is that can you handle isolation? Can you handle isolation for a day? Can you handle isolation for a week? And can you handle isolation for a month? Because for straight six months, you'll be isolated from your family, from your friends, from anyone that you've ever known. And you have to handle that situation. So you have to be really, very sure that you can genuinely be at a place that is 300 meter long and you have to stay there for six months. You don't know anybody out there. You have to handle that pressure of you know starting a conversation, maybe making new colleagues, taking orders from someone you're not even aware of. You have to be aware of all of that. You have to understand that. Have you ever been away from your family more than a week? What have you felt then? You have to think about that. You have to go back in the past and you have to think about that. Are you someone who is not really great at being isolated? Are you someone who deteriorates or maybe uh, becomes inefficient when he's uh, you know, in isolation? How have you performed when you were in this COVID situation? A lot of us were isolated. We were not allowed to meet our friends. We were not allowed to meet anybody else apart from maybe our parents. So what was the situation like? Now that's like almost 50%, 15%, 50% of what actually Merchant Navy is because uh, on ship, you're not going to get even your parents, right? So you have to understand that, will you be able to cope up with that situation? Will you be able to work when there is nobody around, when there is no one to talk to when you come back after the hard work? You have to ask yourself. And if the answer is yes, I mean, then that's a tick. Now, the second question that should come to your mind is that what kind of life are you actually looking for? Are you looking for a life that is secure, uh, in which after 40 years, maybe after 50 years, you have a decent amount of money, you have a good family, you have a, uh, you, know, you have good children, and that's the life that you're looking for. Or you're looking for a challenging life, where you have to go through you know, real pressure, you have to go through a lot of tension, stress, maybe real machineries, real opening and closing of you know so many other equipments that are on board. Are you willing to go in that field? You have to decide. I, do you want to challenge yourself? Now, and if you are going to challenge yourself, after four years, you cannot complain that yeah, Merchant Navy is really, very really tough. I cannot just be in here. Or oh, maybe Merchant Navy is really challenging. I don't, I don't like the grease in my hands. You cannot complain, you know, uh, about the grease in your hands and the dirt that you have. Uh, because that's the reason, you know, why you fell for this profession. So you cannot complain for that. So that's the idea. You have to decide early on like what, what kind of life are you looking for? Are you looking for a life where you have to sit in front of a computer? And there is nothing wrong with that. Are you willing to sit in front of a computer, maybe code, maybe code and do development and everything if you're going into engineering? Or maybe you like commerce, economics, you like money, finances. You have to decide that. Or do you like something that is more rugged, that is more robust? You, you like opening machineries, opening and closing and construction and everything. If you like that, you can go for much in Navy. So you have to decide this, you have to prioritize and you have to understand, are you someone who likes to code? Are you someone who likes to, you know, uh, code throughout the day or build uh, applications online and things like that? Or you are someone who likes constructing and likes opening machineries and like, you know, things like, like making your hands dirty. There are a lot of people who like that robust kind of job. So you have to decide for that as well. Because after four years, after four, five years, you cannot complain that, you know, I don't like Merchant Navy because it's messy. Or it's greasy and I don't like to get my hands dirty. That, that that cannot be a complaint. So this is something that you need to ask yourself. You have to ask yourself eventually that are you someone who might feel homesick if he's away from his family for a week or from a month or for, or for a year in fact. Uh, are you someone who might feel you know homesick who you might feel is, uh, to get back to his home. If, if that is the situation, I don't think Merchant Navy is going to be a great profession for you. And apart from that, one thing uh, that I can advise you and I've seen from a lot of my seniors is that al al almost all of them have a hobby that they continue when they are on board. And that hobby is not a hobby like a band 
or something that is an indiv- you know indiv- individualistic hobby right that's uh, that is something like that where uh, you are an individual and you can continue with that ho- hobby alone uh, like painting or like blogging or like you know something like that like singing dancing something like that which, which you can do in at your home or maybe in your room in your room itself on board so if if you have that kind of hobby it really helps you to get uh, over all the stress that you have on board or something like that if you get back to your room and you you know you do uh, something that you genuinely like maybe astrology maybe reading about the stars or something if you like that you can continue with that on board and that is something uh, that is a place where because of being isolated you'll get the time and you'll get you know the efficiency of learning things quickly maybe in 2 hours a day or 1 hour a day because you'll get that amount that much amount of time to spend on your hobby yeah unlike if you are at home if you are at home you cannot uh, have you know we don't have uh, you maybe or maybe not you might uh, find time for your hobbies and stuff right because generally i'm not going to talk too much about that but yeah you uh, you get what i'm trying to say right so apart from this i'm sure if you're getting into merchant navy you also have to decide at the same time that are you someone who wants to travel the world because generally uh, in merchant navy there are if you're not in merchant navy at max you're going to travel like one or maybe three countries not more than that generally uh, but if you're in merchant navy you can travel 50 60 countries easy that's that's very normal because your flights are going to take you to various countries your ships are going to take you to various countries and you'll get opportunities of traveling uh, you know in the vicinity of different countries for a day or two and things like that and that will give you a good exposure of the countries of international life culture and everything and uh if you talk to people from different nationalities that will give you a really nice approach towards how you know the world works so that is something that you can have if you are in merchant navy but if if you're not looking for traveling if you're not looking you know to get your hands messy if you're not if you are someone who gets homesick and wants to be very close to his family maybe uh, to be very practical if you are a, if you are a son or a daughter of a single parent maybe unfortunately so if that's the situation Uh, you know you might have to think if uh, going in the merchant navy is the best decision for you because you have people to support at home as well and things like that so you have to think about that as well so these are some of the practical points that uh, i could find out uh, after talking with so many batchmates and seniors of mine and uh, yeah uh, i hope this might be helpful for you and uh, until then remain legend